pranams to all of you and i welcome you for all of you for this session before beginning this session i will chant if you close your eyes and listen to this hymn most of you heard you know most of the time we chant this guru mantra please close the eyes and listen guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha ajnanati mirandasya ज्ञाजलन शलाकया चक्षुर्मीतंगीण तस्म श्रीगुर नम अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त येनाचराचर तत्पम दर्शित तस्म श्रीगुर नम ब्रह्मानंद परमसुखदल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वंद्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्मसलक्ष्यम विमलमचल साक्षीभूत भावातीत त्रिगुणरहित i bow to god i bow to all the masters and i bow to you all please open the eyes just now i was uh, reading from the quote from the gurudev from nectar drops basically most of you might have read but still i want to read it to you he says that it is the desire of every human being to get peace bliss and joy because inner peace is our birth right so he says this inner peace is our birth right that means by birth we are peace only we are not different from peace so what is making us to not to feel this inner peace we all know we all heard many times it is only mind mind is a cause of all our problems many masters said this time immemorial so it's going on so we also know that mind is the cause then patanjali yoga sutra if you refer there also he says that it is only a mind our mind that is causing the problem why it is happening simple reason is we are identifying ourselves with body and mind as long as our identity exists with the body and mind we have to go through we have to suffer or whatever modifications of mind will be there or emotional feelings it can be good or it can be bad either way both are same in good feelings we feel little happy joy you know in with bad feelings we feel little sad but emotion is there in either of the case emotion is there feeling good or feeling bad 
So unless until we know our true self, who we really are, until that time, we have to go through this cycles or process. So during our, in this path, whatever we are practicing or we are, whatever we are teaching, it's a path of yoga. So we, we all heard that how yoga happens. Go, if you refer back to the Patanjali, Sage Patanjali, he says that yoga, Chitta Vritti Nirodha, unless until Chitta Vritti is not there or, you know, modifications of thought process is not there, then yoga happens on its own. So it is all about fluctuation of thoughts or feelings, whatever we want to call it. So yoga, Chitta Vritti Nirodha. So coming back to our practice, or if you read anything or listen to something, is it this Chitta Vritti Nirodha is happening or fluctuation of thoughts are stopped? Thought thinking process is stopped or not? If it is not happening, yoga will not happen naturally. So this yoga doesn't depend on any of these activities, whether I practice technique, whether I practice breath, whatever it is. If focus is not on that, chitta vritti or fluctuation of mind is not, as long as that doesn't happen, then yoga will not happen. If yoga is not there, the suffering will be there automatically because we come into the body and mind conscious. Body and mind consciousness will be more. Whenever the consciousness becomes small, then our problem becomes big. If our consciousness becomes wider, problem becomes small. Vice versa, whatever. So yoga chitta vritti nirodaha. Coming back to our practice, Kriya, definition of Kriya, whatever we heard from masters and read. Tapas Satyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani from Patanjali Yoga Sutra, we heard that. But Gurudev said that every activity, if you perceive divinity, then Kriya is happening automatically. Whether we sit for meditation, whether we do some work, or whether we speak or whether we hear, whatever it may be. If I don't perceive that soul consciousness or it is the power of God that is making us to feel, speak, listen or any other things. If that is not happening, Kriya will not happen or Yoga will not happen. So when we, whenever we practice, we say that, oh, I have meditated for one hour, two hours, three hours. I am meditating every day for six hours. So is it really Kriya is happening? Or I am satisfying myself, telling that I am able to meditate for two hours, three hours or four hours. As long as sense of doership is there, where is Kriya? Kriya means non-doership. It is soul that is making us to do this activity. That perception as long as not there, there is no Kriya at all. Whatever we may say that, we may uh, take up some techniques and practice it. While practicing these techniques, if we are not making ourselves away from the technique, then Kriya will not happen. Sense of doership will be there. If sense of doership is there, expectation is there, naturally. So that's why whenever some experience or some feeling comes into the system or mind, we react. If it is good, we want to hold on to it. If it is bad, then we say that we try to contemplate why it is coming. It should not be there or some resistance will be there. So this kind of phenomena happens naturally. So it is good to be more alert. It is breath to breath process. As Sri Guruji mentions, always emphasizes on that. 
be conscious of the breath every moment every time don't miss even a single breath coming back to gurudev's statements gurudev's teachings if you forget the god then this life is useless because our real nature is god himself most of the time we forget that we are trying to become something i'll read the one more quote from gurudev remember always that you are god in human being and human being in god so if we trust master's teachings they are saying that we are already god himself only thing is our perception is not there so whenever we are practicing or doing some work even though there is no perception let it be a intellectual understanding that i am god himself is this thought is prevailing in ourselves as long as we are trying to become something then the target is much more farther than what we are looking if something is already there that means i am not looking there so trying to become something is making ourselves distance from the target or goal whatever we want to say so if goal is right away there let it be intellectual better to feel that we are in this form of god that is given by him only so every thought is coming from god that's what gurudev says so if good thought is coming accept it and work on that if bad thought is coming return it to god so keeping these things in mind we will practice some simple techniques of meditation because it is all about chitta vritti nirodha or cessation of thoughts or there should not be any modifications in the mind so what we do we try our level best to meditate ensuring that we will not act on any of the thoughts that are generated in the mind so i request you all please sit straight keep the spine straight body relaxed eyes closed slowly be aware of the whole body not to be in a hurry take your own time whole body body is still
slowly take the attention to the breath. Please take your own time. Be relaxed. Slowly take the attention to the breath. Please do not try to alter the breath. Leave the breath as it is. Calmly watch how air is passing through the nostrils. Coming in, going out. Please don't force the breath. Whenever body needs, it will take the breath. Calmly watch. Along with the breath, slowly come to the forehead. Not to be in a hurry, take your own time. You may feel heaviness sensation or pulsation on the forehead. Oh, calmly watch.
slowly take the awareness into the inside of the head. Inner silence, empty space. Calmly rest in this inner silence, inner space. least effort or there is no effort stay there Slowly be aware of the breath. Slowly inhale deeply, exhale deeply, slow long deep breaths at your own pace. Every inhalation with love, inner peace. With this feeling, inhale. While exhaling, be peaceful, be relaxed. Inhale and exhale, slow long deep breaths. Continue the breathing.
नॉर्मल कॉन्शियस ब्रेथ ब्रीथ नॉर्मली नेचुरल ब्रीथिंग Take a slow, long, deep breath. Inhale. Holding the breath, bend the body to the front. Bow down. And exhale. Normal conscious. <coughs> breathe normally. Slowly take the attention to the forehead. Inside of the head. Calmly watch. Empty space. Inner silence. Slowly be aware of the breath. Every exhalation relax the body more and more.
calmly concentrate inside of the head. Watch. Inner peace is our nature. Mind may be looking for something, drop all the ideas, simply rest. Slowly be aware of the breath. Maintaining the inner calmness, take a slow, long, deep breath. At your own pace, slowly inhale. Holding the breath, slowly sit up, sit straight. Exhale. Normal breath. Be with the inner calmness.
slowly take the attention to the inside of the head. inner calmness, inner peace, calmly rest, relax. Please don't interact with any thought. Let them be there. Don't try to control anything. Please drop all the ideas how it should be. Simply rest, relax. Mind may want to go to the next. Please ignore the thought. Wherever you are, that is the right spot. Right place. Calmly rest. There is no next.
please don't try to control the thoughts. Look behind the thoughts. Empty space, inner sky. Slowly be aware of the breath. Be aware of the whole body. inner prayer Be thankful to the inner self that made us to sit for meditation. Let there be peace everywhere. Thank you. I bow to you all.